in two minutes, Mr. Green. My name's Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need you to sign this release form before you go out there. Oh, and, uh, don't forget to include your next of kin. Her name is Katie. Can you take her somewhere safe? Yeah, I'll take her to the green room. Go with the nice man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. Zombies, otherwise she'd still be around! <laughs> Save it for the show, shithead. Zombies took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback.
from you, Chuck. But maybe you just don't know how to handle the tight curves. But we just get started, people. The carnage is just beginning. So right now, let me hear you make some noise. floor and then straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. The ladies were a little disappointed in your performance tonight, Chuck. But you must get that a lot. Good night, ladies.
know, Katie. I can't get a signal. Why? Why can't I get a signal? She, she was, she was looking right at me, and they had her, and I, I couldn't do anything. She went down without a sound, and I, I had to get out of there. I just ran. On a second, son. Listen, it's an existing condition, all right? It's okay, it happened a long time ago. It's only a matter of time before she turns. Hey, don't worry, I've got Sombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot, because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilizing. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. There's a pharmacy in the Royal Flesh Mall. I'm Stacy Forsythe, by the way. I'm Chuck. And this is Katie. Do you know a way out of here? No. But if you find one, I suggest you take this. That way we can keep in touch. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only. But I'll keep an eye on them. Chuck, if you find anyone alive out there... I'll do what I can. Keep an eye on my daughter, okay? Old man. 
exactly what I'm doing. I'm just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely going to need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Look! Hey, honey. I told you I'd get some Zombrex. See, that wasn't so bad, Dad. You sure are Daddy's girl. Look, Dad, I got a new power in Mega Man. received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City arena, the site of the Terror is Reality game show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green, a member of the zombie rights protest group Cure, was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang, reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit! That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you're part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. You sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. attention out here, buddy. Thanks. Rebecca Chang, Channel 6 Action News. Chuck Green. Are you serious? From the security video? I thought you'd be long gone by now. Since you're sticking around, 
Care to answer a few questions? I'm not your story, lady. I didn't have anything to do with the outbreak. Right, sure you didn't. And that tape showing you tampering with the cages was... A fake. I had nothing to do with this. My daughter and I barely got out of there alive. I need to know where you got that tape from and who your source is. Reporters don't reveal their sources, Chuck. That's privileged information. Privileged my ass. That wasn't me on the tape. I'm being set up. Hmm. Why should I believe you? You don't have to. But you want the big story, right? Help me out and I'll give you an interview. With the prime suspect? It has to be an exclusive. Sure. Doesn't matter to me. I can't tell you my source. But there is a central security room. There'll be footage of everything that happened there. I can show you where it is. Well, that's a start at least. Aren't we gonna need your crew? <sighs> they ran off with all the equipment. I guess they just didn't want it bad enough. Damn it! Better get used to that view, Chuck. Cute. I hope I don't have to do everything for you. Well, what are you waiting for? Just checking out the view. I should have known you two were in cahoots the first moment you set foot in this place. You caused nothing but trouble. You're an innocent. It's a setup. Now, if you put this whole bunker at risk, you expect me to believe that? Hey. Oh, well. Looky here. Man of the hour, Chuck Green. Should have listened to my gut and kicked you out when you got here. Sullivan, I had nothing to do with this. I saw it on the TV. Saw you, buddy. Explain how that little trick works. Wasn't me on the tape. It was someone in my show outfit. But look, I don't care whether you believe me or not. I've got three days till the military gets here to prove that I'm innocent. I'll hand myself over if we haven't gotten any proof by then. I'm just asking for a fair shot. Ahem. You could have told me that the front door was locked. Hey, you're that TV lady. I'll make you a deal. You keep rounding folks up, you can keep coming and going. You die out there, and we'll have to leave it to the devil to sort you out. But ain't no one gonna cover your ass when the military arrives. You pull anything, anything, and I'll do whatever I have to do. <laughs> what was that all about? He watches too much TV. Tell me you found something. We went to Central Security, but somebody got there before us. Everything was smashed. All the tapes were gone. Hey, no footage of my daughter. Stacy, I'm Rebecca Chang, Channel 6 Action News. I'm here to help. Oh, you'll forgive me if I don't think it's very helpful that you accused my organization of a crime we didn't commit. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but clearly things are not as they seem. I put out the information I had at the time. Remember, you can have all the exclusives you want if you help us figure out what's going on here. Works for me, whether you're innocent or guilty. I just want the truth. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But okay, we'll work together. I'll keep an eye on these monitors. And I'm going back out there to see what I can find out. I'll let you know if I see anything. Shh. She just fell asleep. I'm just a little worried about her. The stress of all this, along with that horrible medicine. It's a lot for a little girl. When this is all over, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this up to her. Hey, what was that? 
I don't know. It looks like something's going on at the entrance to this maintenance tunnel. Can't quite tell for sure, but it looks like someone is moving equipment or something. It looks pretty organized. It's a lead. The only one we've got. It could be whoever's doing this to us. Listen. It's none of my business. But... What? Nothing. Just... be careful, okay? For her sake. You think it's that easy, Chuck? You think you're the man? You'll never beat me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Quadruple points, Chucky. Let's see you top this!
Chucky! You made it out. After that pathetic performance you gave last night, I thought for sure they'd find you lying dead with a load in your shorts. Show Chucky how the game is really played, boys. Job. Let's go! Damn it, TK!
Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? It was TK. He's the one behind this outbreak. The host of that horrible show? Yeah. He was moving equipment using the trains, but I have no idea what it's for. He's up to something. Something big. This isn't over yet. Chuck, that's gonna have to wait. Katie's going to need more Zombrex soon. Okay. Thanks. for showing up at the right time, don't you? Have you covered wars or something? Not until now. Everybody has a first time, Chuck. So, you believe me now. They're robbing the damn city. That's why they started this. For money. You sure got your story now. Listen, I've got a meeting with my source tonight. I think maybe it's time you met. I thought a professional journalist never gave up a source. I think this is kind of a special case, Chuck. I'll meet you at 11 o'clock in the bar at the Yucatan. It's a date. Crap. Ah! 
Get out of here alive, Chuck. We promise you that. All of us. I'll never be complete again. Never! No, go! <laughs> me being tied up. I can't believe you trusted them. I know. I'm sorry. But they had the tape. It spoke for itself. Maybe this will make it up to you. I heard them talking earlier. TK's got another chopper coming in at sunset. He's getting whatever money he can still get his hands on and then getting out of the city. Did they say where he's meeting the chopper? No. So we're going to have to watch for it. I'll meet you on the rooftop above the bunker at 8 o'clock. I'll be there. <laughs> 